We were approached by the local authority to choose a group of children who needed to be targeted with mathematics. For them to be confident to use their number skills and their communication skills is very important. So we chose a group of five children who thought needed a boost. They're in a group called the target group where they're in between levels. For a da. For a da, Josh. Bousy. For a da. Oop. For a da. And good morning. The first session is a counting activity and this is used mostly to relax the children before the session starts. We're going to be using pennies, ten pennies and pounds. How many pennies in a pound? Ten, 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 ten. So we're going to call them a hundred, two hundred, three hundred. And all I want you to do is say what you see. Okay? You ready to start? Yeah. Okay. One hundred and fifty-three. One hundred and fifty-two. 142, 242. What would you change it to now? 153. Excellent. This next activity is called Slap, Clap, Click and it's used to reinforce the children's doubling facts. Ooh, Slap, Clap, Click! Yeah! Right, we'll play Slap, Clap, Click doubles. You remember what to do? Yeah. Right, I'll slap the number, can you click me the double, okay? Right, let's warm up. Two. Four. Two. Four. Three. Six. Three. Six. Six. Five. Ten. Five. Ten. As a teacher, I think this is a very good project, especially now with the curriculum has changed. It's more to do with role play and um, learning through playing, and this is exactly what you're doing. You're playing the games that the, the children, they don't realise, but they're learning through the fun. This next activity is called Double Double and it helps to reinforce the children's knowledge of partitioning and also reinforces the visual recognition. Ready, steady, go! So if you've got six tens there and you've got a ten there, you've got... Two. Two. That gives you, do you remember how to do it? Can you do them this way? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I've got that. Double dominoes is a game where the children are encouraged to use their knowledge of number bonds. Who can tell me how we're going to play this game? Go on then, Lauren. You turn a domino over and then you have to double it, but you're not allowed to count. You use your number bonds to count. Fantastic, Lauren. Brilliant. Sixteen. Twelve. Twelve. Well done. Twelve. 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 Twenty-four. Twenty-four here. Excellent. Twenty. Well done. Now we're into math solvers, a problem solving game. Here's a question for you to solve. Mr and Mrs Ling have four children and each of their four children have two children of their own. Therefore, how many grandchildren do Mr and Mrs Ling have? Right then, children, has everybody found the answer? Yes. Who'd like to tell me what the answer is? Josh, you can do it. Eight. Can you explain to us how you got to that answer? There's four children. They have two um, with them, yeah? And you have to count two by two. Well done. Your answer's correct, Josh. Well done, you. The programme has changed Joshua's everyday life skills at the supermarket with pockets, money. He's able to work out real life problems, life skills. Um, and Josh is a, a happy little boy when it comes to maths. And now we've come to the last game of the session. It's called It's a Fact and it's used to improve the language skills. Right then, children, it's nearly the end of the session, so it's now time for... It's a Fact! And who can give me the first fact? I think, yes, Min, you go first. Six and six equals 12. Excellent. I like the idea that you've used the word equals in that. Well done. And who wants to be next? Lucy. I love it when my mum increases my pocket money. Increase. That's an excellent way of putting it. Cheeky. <laughs> <laughs>
Before the project, you would talk about mathematics, you could see the head go down. But now, when we do introduce a mathematical problem, you can see in their faces, they're ready, they enjoy it, they think it's fun, and it's a real privilege to see them succeed. The games involved in the project is fantastic. The children, they really enjoy it, and I think this is where they learn the best skills. There is an old Chinese saying, you hear, you forget, you see, and you remember, but if you do, you understand.